Welcome everybody back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Uh, where we're going to explore the ant tunnel. That's right, it's not mouse button. So I got as much ammo as I could from Megaton and um, that other... The uh, a fairy or something like that. Oh. Oh dear. They were right there the whole time. Uh, audio seems a little loud. Stop using the mouse wheel, you crazy jerk. There we go. Yeah, I think 10 mil is definitely the way to go for right now. Um, there's just, there's no ammo at all this early on in the game. At least that I could find. Uh, sold a whole bunch of stuff just to afford said ammo. So I'm going to be a little bit more... Uh, grab everything happy, just because uh, we don't have a lot of caps. Whoa. That was weird. One of the many glitches. Uh, there. Right, no more creepy crawlies. Press A to pick up all. <clears throat> all right. It's just, I'm looking, like, we got the weight to spare. And we just don't have a lot of money. So we need more. Um, but as you've no doubtedly seen, we are exploring the ant caverns of something today. Uh, what's the town we're in? Gray Ditch? Ew. That was full of asbestos. Now we're gonna die of lung cancer in 10 to 20 years. Ah, a dead person. Hello, dead person. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, can I go down that tunnel? No. Okay, so it's definitely back this way. We came from there. Open the map. But we didn't go back there. We just came out this door and turned that way. Let's go back this way. Some creepy crawlies. Oh dear. Come on. I know I'm not that good with uh with ammo and whatnot, but or not ammo, uh <sighs> with guns. There we go. Words just completely failed me. Ooh, 44. Those 44 rounds will come in very, very handy. A silence 10 mil? How much damage does that reduce? Because I'd like to switch over to silence if it actually <clears throat> has a benefit. Four, five. So a little bit less damage, but it could just be the, the condition of the gun. Um, let's put it on two. Let's swap over. Can I repair? Oh, I can. So let's repair this with that. And now it's up to five. So. <clears throat> Oh no, he was right there the whole time. I don't remember where I picked up this rifle. Um, I think I picked it up from the uh, 
um, from Megaton. Okay, that was garbage. Oh, I missed. You never, ever, ever want to miss with the scoped 44. The, for the scoped 44 is just so powerful, you really don't want to miss with it. I still hear creepy crawlies. All around me. Oh, ants. I'm tickling him. Oh no, he sees me. <clears throat> Alright, that's good. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to use that. I really don't want to use a sword because they breathe fire. Um... Ooh, let's lock ourselves in here for a minute. <clears throat> Ammunition box. This could be useful. Well, some extra 10 mil, that's still fine. Two metal box. Hmm, more 10 mil. Cherry bombs. It's empty. Grady's safe keys. Ooh, there's a safe somewhere down here. Cool. Probably not in this room, but... Somewhere. Deep in the bowels of the fire ant home. Oh, you missed. You loser. That's out of ammo. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pop another... Do some of that. Pop another fire ant nectar. That. Oh, what happened? What happened? Why did we fall down? Stupid reload. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why we fell down. Once again, we're almost out of freaking ammo. I keep pressing E to pick up all, and I know that's not the button, but I can't help myself. There's no room over there. So I guess it's just this way. Yep. Continue deeper into this place. At least the little one dies, you know, pretty quick with limited ammo. <gasps> oh no. I don't know who you are. Am I supposed to know? Because I don't remember. I don't think we need plus five to medicine. You know what? It wouldn't be bad to have. I didn't mean to take it all, but... You know, we could... Have some biker's goggles, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and equip that. <clears throat> Ooh, you know what? Armored jumpsuit. I think I think it does better than that. What's DR? I think DR is defense rating. 
Let's go Armored Vault 101 jumpsuit. By the way, I picked this up. Uh, we also got the quest to go to um, the market. Grocery store? Supermarket? Something like that? Alright, we'll also equip... No, that and that. Wait, I can wear goggles and a hat? Amazing. A kniffle. All right, so with uh, with the vault jumpsuit, we get plus five to small guns. So hopefully our aim is a little bit better. Not necessarily our damage, but our aim. <clears throat> Not my aim. That wasn't terrible. Oop. I try not to unload like that just because one, I'll miss more, and two, I'll fire when I don't need to. Excuse me. Oop. I, didn't, I don't think I want to come out of here. I don't think I want to be out here. No, let's not come out here right now. Did they have rockets? And other scary things? Let's just... Let's say no. Uh, what's up this way? <clears throat> oh, I've already been through here. Okay. Am I just going in one big circle? Yeah, kinda. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just ate breakfast, so I'm full of phlegm. Phlegm, phlegm. All right, now there's a yellow light flashing here. Well, let's just unlock the door. Then access the terminal. This is the first time we've done actual hacking in the game, and I don't think we have a very high science skill. <clears throat> and I don't like the way the hacks work in this game. All right. Four attempts. Um running. Three correct. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Disengage lock. After we've already picked it. Ooh, the safe. Naughty nightwear. Hmm. Curious. A. All right. Well, um, we haven't found the. I'm only going to ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightwear. Um. I warned you. I was only going to ask. Uh. uh what's going on? Seriously, I'm confused. I really didn't want to waste the ammo. <laughs> and I gladly would have sold it to you. Apparel. Naughty nightwear. Speech plus ten. It's just leopard print. I gotta look up the keybind to, uh, um, getting the, uh, map zoomed back in. Alright, let's just 
go down here and explore the map. There, happy? No? Alright. <laughs> okay, um... I know we're supposed to be doing something. Remove the source of the fire ants, but... Is it not this cave? Or am I missing something? Did I miss a door? Excuse me. Till you startled me. You startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. <clears throat> that is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Mm -hmm. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? Um. Yeah, what do you mean by experiments? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist, how marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Okay. Hmm. Well, let me see. <clears throat> well, you start with a generation of very large ants. Mm -hmm. You simply inject the current brood's eggs with an engineered mutagen. Then, the next generation should be smaller. Do it enough times, and you may be able to reduce them back to their once original tiny size. Ah! Uh, are you aware your new ants breathe fire? Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get nearby equipment. Um, okay. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The mutagen has already been injected into the Ant Queen. She has enough in her body to last for years. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. Oh. All right, what can I do? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Okay. Yeah, why not just kill the queen? If I were to do that, months of data would be lost. No, no, the queen must remain completely unharmed. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Mm, filthy little abominations. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, and this will stop them? No, <clears throat> it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So, that's all there is to it. What do you say? Oh, uh, if it'll stop the ants from burning Grey Ditch you down, will? yeah. How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. All right. Oh, am I already done? I don't know. Be ever vigilant. Or is it on the other side of this? Ooh, ant meat. Ammo box? Steal his only defense? Yes, please. Oh. See, it goes all over the place really quick. Okay, there we go. Nine bullets, huh? Ooh, some cram. Of course I can't sleep in this bed. Why would I be allowed to sleep in a freaking bed? Ant meat. Sensor module. Ant meat. 
<clears throat> Taking all of your ammo, Doc. Do you wish to add something to my hypothesis? No. I wish for you to leave me alone. <laughs> It seems like we found the, the the hatchery. So we're gonna drop a save real quick. Reload everybody. Oh, well, everybody that has ammo. Alrighty. Let's get it done. Holy crap, they have so much health. They have a lot of health. <clears throat> uh, we could eat some of these. Uh, let's go ahead and have... Ooh, that's nifty too. Let's go ahead and eat one of these. You know what? Two of them. Just, just, just to be safe. And then we'll pop a couple stems. Ah! Sheesh. <clears throat> and refuse pile. <clears throat> it's going to take a lot more than I thought to kill these things. Because how many are there? Did it say five? You have one health, dude. Just just drop dead. What do I have for weapons? A couple 10 mil pistols. That'll just repair my silenced one. 35% uh, repair skill needed. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> got quite a few melee weapons. If I can get close enough with the Ripper. Let's go ahead and replace that over the Vampire's Edge. Well, we do have the, the laser pistol. Let's go ahead and swap over to that. And heal up. Ooh, I think there's two. This may cause a problem. <sighs> oh, we only got two bullets in this. And three bullets in this. Uh huh. -huh. Critical strike. All right. I think for that, I'm gonna hide around here. Hiya! That's pretty cool. A little loud, but pretty cool. I still hear a scritching. There's the queen. I don't want to fight the queen. <clears throat> I think I'm completely out of ammo now. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, so now we just have to return to him. Does she not care about our existence? Per se? Ah! Stop it. Alright, well. Let's just let's go turn this in, see what happens. And maybe we'll still have to come down and kill the queen later. Who knows? All that I know is we are completely out of ammo. And we'll have to find some way to get more. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. I killed the Nest Guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes <clears throat> to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. Is... You've been quite a useful lab assistant. Okay. I'm ready for my mutagenic bio-enhancing injection. How marvelous. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant site or ant mite? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's go perception. How marvelous. Ant site it is. Hold still, please. He ran away. You procure to the perception and flame resistance of the Grey Ditch Fire Ants. Your perception is increased by one, and you are now 25% resistant to fire. That's pretty nifty. Okay, well, does that clear up the, um... The quest? It does. Alright, let's, um... Let's get out of here. <clears throat> That was quite the adventure, yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, crazy times. Do you see all the gigantic ants? So he was trying to make the ants smaller. You are no longer well rested. I didn't realize I was rested at all. I, I did sleep to gain some health back before this episode. Local map. Alright, we're going this way. Uh, after this, I guess we'll clear out the supermarket after we find some ammo. Yeah, find the ammo. That's the hard part. Hmm. Trying to think if there's anywhere that I can still go. Um. Shoot. I don't know. All right, where is he? Is he this way? Yeah, relatively speaking. All right, well, the ants are dealt with. Probably not in the way he wanted them to be dealt with, but they're dealt with, and that's all that matters. Whoa, it's hot in here. It was so weird. All of a sudden... The ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. <sighs> I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Oh, why don't you go to Megaton? Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Uh, Alright. 
I have to I go now. Stay here with me in Greyditch. I'm sorry. No, I have more important things to do. Like I find it on my papa. Alrighty, everybody. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one.